Hi friend, I'm Olga Kirch and welcome to my studio. Today we are going to paint bouquet of alum. It's very romantic with tiny little details which look sometimes a bit frightening. But I will show you some tricks and we will manage it. So let's start it. Uh, you see on the reference it's a nice bouquet of alum uh, blooming and green and it looks a little bit messy and too many details but uh, we will try to focus on uh, some uh, on some shapes and try to find out how to paint these small little tiny details. I'm just find place for for main clusters of flowers, like this. This is enough for sketch. And uh, now for alum, I'm taking pottery pink or any dusty pink which you find in your palette. I'm taking pottery pink and mix it just with a small drop of ultramarine and I paint the first cluster with the tip of the brush just to make the shape of alum floral clusters and move it in different directions and make the shape of our flower. And at the same time I start to add olive green I have olive green, you could mix uh, olive green with green and yellow and a hint of uh, burnt cyan, for example. I have my olive green here, it's um, very diluted. And I, I add some stems. Our watercolor is still wet, so it makes nice mixtures. I'm taking a finer brush, it's number Three, I think the brush brush number three and I proceed to make just quick lines around our bouquet to form some greenery clusters around again with the tip of the brush very random moves very random in different directions because our bouquet moves uh, a little bit C in a C shape. Yes, uh, in the mi uh, mirroring C shape, uh, like this. And do not forget to add some clusters. And with the second brush, I want to add some shades. I use neutral tint or just black. Simply to say I add just for contrast just very randomly to some places and like this. I again take a uh, pottery pink or dusty pink, a little bit bolder, a little bit bolder and I add some shades to the bouquet and I want to make another cluster of alum just here. doesn't look complicated. No need to paint each and every detail. You just shape with your strokes, you just shape uh, the flower. And to make it more interest, you dilute some, um, some parts or add some shades to another part. See, now I just paint basically with uh, no color on the brush, I just dilute some um, areas and like this. And now comes our olive green. 
in very fine tiny strokes I connect this cluster so it looks like it grows from one point from one stem and add some greenery around again with the tip of my brush I just try to find um, some certain certain elements something recognizable for each and every plant and just uh, repeat it I do not go into details but I go into shades and colors I'm again I have my neutral tint I want to add some contrasts around especially to our greenery to make it playful to make it nicer I uh, want to play a little bit with bluish shades, so I uh, take just a little bit of ultramarine blue and I add this very diluted, it's very 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 diluted and now we start to paint um, white petals, I remove all, I remove all pencil traces, we do not need them, and just very, very diluted mixture. It's um, a little bit grayish, a little bit uh, bluish. I form our white flowers. Of course, it's not possible to paint white flowers just with white color on white paper. That's why we use some very tender shades. And if you look at the white flower, it always not white. It has uh, uh, different, uh, different shades, different tones around. So we just repeat what we see and add some imagination it's nice to add some bright moments into the middle of the flowers like this so we have first white cluster and now let's add another white cluster here I remove pencil strokes. Very diluted, uh, grayish, greenish. I like when it is more uh, bluish gray, so it uh, looks different from the greenery. And we shape some flowers around. I paint with the belly of the brush mainly to shape nice, nice petals and elements. Some floral buds are open, some are closed. I try to show all of them to make our bouquet, to give more variety to our bouquet. Like this and now I'm back to olive green color because I want to show the middle of the flower and also connect connect all this cluster together and connect it with our main part I 
I want to add some move around, so I just add some random leaves and strokes. And uh, some more distinct pink shades. more diluted. If we imagine that we have one cluster of alum behind, which is very diluted, and to get it, I do not go into shapes, I just show the place where we think might be, and some some elements just with the tip of the brush. Now I want to add, uh, I want to create dark green. I combine olive green and neutral tint. It looks a bit dirty and dark. I might add some sub green, just little, just to make it bit nicer and just for variety I add some leaves especially in the middle because it's darker inside, inside the bar, next to stem, it's much darker. So it's nice to add this contrast, connect elements. We are basically done. It'd be nice to add some Maybe I will add one or two one or two white flowers here. I think it will connect our bouquet. Just with the side of the brush I uh, paint petals, small little buds. And with bright olive, olive green, I make the lovely needles and I connect all these flowers. Add something dark, our dark mixture. Last, last, final touches. And we're done. Look how tender, beautiful and romantic it looks like. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you like the process I'm looking forward to see your paintings as well. Please leave some feedback in the comments. What would you like to paint next time? Follow me on Instagram, olga.gosh, and see you on the next lesson. Bye-bye.